In this tutorial, let's have a look how you can take your MailJet and integrate it within Brizzy so that people can opt in directly from your website. We are in our dashboard with Brizzy installed. Make sure you have the pro version installed as the integrations only work with the pro version. In the sidebar on the left, if you go to the Brizzy label, you will see these two options called integration and leads. If you have already installed one of the integrations, they will appear over here. For example, I have MailerLite. You will see though that you cannot install your MailJet from here. You will have to do that directly on the page you are working with. Once you have done that, it will appear here. Every time somebody opts in from your site, of course, it will sync with your account on MailJet. And then those leads will also appear over here. So you have access to all of that over here, but setting it up happens on the pages. Let's go to our Brizzy site and then we set up a integration form from there. I'm going to say edit page with Brizzy. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and then we add a new blank block and I'm going to delete one of these columns so we only have one column left. To set up the integration, you need to bring in a form element. Go to add elements, grab your form over here, drag and drop it. And we will only focus on an email field. So we're going to delete these two fields. To do that, I click in it and choose delete in the toolbar, click and delete. Now we have the email field here and the button that will be used to submit your form. Let's just change the text for that to submit that we know what we are doing. How do we set up our integration with MailJet? Well, MailJet, you require two things to set it up. One is an API key and the other one is a security number or a security key. We will show you how to do that. If it's the first time you are doing an integration, you may be totally lost and not sure where to start with this integration process. Well, you're going to build your fields over here according to the fields on your mailing list on MailJet. And then to set up that API and security, you need to go to the button. That's where all of the magic happens. Click on the button and go all the way to the right where you see this little app and then all the different integrations currently available within Brizzy Pro will appear here. MailJet over here and click on it. Once you click on it, the wheel starts spinning and this is now where you have to bring in all the data needed and information needed to set up the integration. Your API key and your secret key, not security, your secret key is all on your MailJet account. So let's go to MailJet. I have an account that I've opened here and at the top, this is where your name and account will appear. Click on it and you look for my account. Under my account, you go all the way to the right, master IPA key and sub IPA key management. Click on this. What you need to do is copy the API key. I'm going to copy it, go back here, click and paste, then go and highlight your secret key, copy that, go into Brizzy click and paste. Just click connect and your account is connected. There I am. From here on, it is as smooth sailing as you can possibly imagine. We have done the accounts. Now next you're going to click on continue, which will give you all the lists that you currently have in MailJet. I only have this one list called my first test. You can also create a new list within Brizzy if you want to do that and it will automatically sync with MailJet. I'm going to leave it on my first test and then we go to fields. Currently, I only have in my form one field, email. If you look over here is the corresponding fields that you can choose from MailJet. This one is selected by default because it is required that you have an email address. Otherwise, what's the purpose? And that's why you see that little asterisk. It means it is mandatory. If you click on the drop down, you will see all the other fields that are currently available within the list that you had created in MailJet. As we're only working with one field, this is exactly what we need. Going to click on continue and then everything is done. We can just click on done. Let's update our form and then let's go view it on the front end to see how this will actually play out. Preview. And scroll all the way to the bottom where our list will appear. And over here I'm going to type in the address which is abc at xyz.com and I'm going to submit that. And then you will get your success message here at the bottom. Your email was sent successfully. Let's go see if that actually happened in MailJet. In your account, you go to contacts, contact lists, or all contacts, wherever you want to choose that. 
and there you go. You will see this is my first test, which is the list that we had connected. There's one contact currently, and if I click on it, it should give us ABC at XYZ, and indeed it is so. Let's see what you do if you want to collect more fields, for example, a name and a surname. In here, you just click again and duplicate. For this one, I'm going to call it name. Now you need to go and change the field type. Currently it's set at email, you put it on text. Next one, we're going to make this last name or surname or family name. Same thing, make sure you put it on text. You can also change the size. Let's go for this one. Double click there, I'm going to put it at 50%. And the same for this one. Double click, put it at 50%. And ooh, yeah, there it is now on the right. Okay, and let's style a little bit our color over here. The background, we're going to leave that on white. And our label, let's put it on this darker blue. I'm just going to increase the opacity over here. And the border, I'm fine with that. So this is how our form will look now. So change the topography. Let's make it a roboto. Once you've done that, you need to actually reset the form because you haven't linked these fields to anything yet. So you go to submit, you go again to your app, you click on MailJet, and it will go through the whole process again. We go to lists, and it's the same list that we will be using my first test. And then on the fields, you will have to link these two for name. You can put it under name, and then last name. You can either choose first name or you put it on auto generate to make a new name for you and you say continue to done. You have to go through this process if you add new fields, otherwise it won't register and it won't sync with your MailJet account. And now all you need to do is update it and everything will work perfectly. Let's just update and go again into the back end of WordPress so we can see what had happened at our integration section under the Brizzy label in the sidebar. Go here, back to WordPress. And if we look here at Brizzy, we go to integrations, you will now see that MailJet is here. So if you decide to remove any of the integrations, you're going to do it here under this label. And for those leads that we have entered, now they will all appear here. So it will be in your account with MailJet, but it will also appear here. So you have some extra access to that. Of course, having so many integrations won't make any sense. You're just going to use one or maximum two. The others you will not have there. This is just to show you how it works. For more tutorials on other integrations, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel. Also, go and check out our website at brizzy.io. And if you are looking for you know, some conversation on what's happening in the world with Brizzy and feedback from others, join our Facebook community.